Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very familiar resort here in Malta. Today we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did for the Dominion DLC, but this time around we're going to go ahead and use Camp Cretaceous. Now I know, I know, I know. Okay, relax. We have some species that were in Camp Cretaceous that sadly aren't in Jurassic World Evolution 2 quite yet, but... There's only so much I can wait. <laughs> so only so many minutes in the year. And as the year comes to a close, of course, I'm going to be doing a Camp Cretaceous Battle Royale. Now, the species we're missing, I believe, are Smilodon, Spinoceratops, and I think maybe one or two other species. Um, but there's definitely some other species that we are missing. Um, so um, it's unfortunate. But we have enough Camp Cretaceous species for today's video. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Over here on our Dominion BR uh, island is what I like to call it. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and use the Camp Cretaceous species of Apatosaurus and Kylosaurus, the Baryonyx trio. We have the Brachiosaurus, Toro, the Ceratosaurus, a few Compsognathus, Dilophosaurus, Gallimimus, a singular Indominus rex, Monolophosaurus, Aranosaurus, Parasaurolophus, uh, two Scorpius rexes, uh, two Cynoceratops, uh, hmm, yeah, two Cynoceratopses, a Spinosaurus and a Stegosaurus. Uh, I don't know why that's empty. I must have accidentally skipped that. <laughs> but then we have Tarbosaurus, Rexy, Big E.T., Velociraptor, and you'll notice Nophosaurus. I want to try something, so we're going to head, go ahead and uh, try to release Nophosaurus from here. I don't know what it looks like. It could just fail, but at the end of the day, he's got to be part of the BR, right? So yeah, with these species pretty much on the go and ready now, we're going to pause and we're going to give you a little showcase of all of the species that are releasing. Um, so yeah. Okay, so we've gone ahead and released practically every single species now. I do realise and I do remember that um, I actually forgot to release Dimorphodons and Pteranodons. There's not really too much I can do about it now. I, I guess I could build one there. But um, we know that the Dimorphodons and the Pteranodons, they're not really going to do anything. They're going to fly about, they'll get attacked, or they'll just die off from starvation. So um, we're not going to <laughs> go ahead and include them, but I am intrigued about Nophosaurus. So we're going to go ahead... Release Nophosaurus. Blocked by Dinosaur. 
What dinosaur? Hmm. Maybe maybe I just can't release him. Is there any? No, there's uh, there's no dinosaur. Um. Maybe maybe I just actually cannot release Nothosaurus, which is a shame. Uh, however, we'll just we'll let, we'll let it stick by. There, there used to be a glitch where um, it, it, it would kind of like, it would do the animation where they where they walk outwards, uh, but then that would be about it, and they'd kind of just like float there. Uh, but it doesn't seem like that glitch is available anymore, unfortunately. Which is slightly annoying, because I, I really want Nothosaurus. Can I, can I delete this and still get the Nothosaurus? No. Okay, well, uh, unfortunately, it seems like Nothosaurus is out of the question. So that's our first competitor, gone, dead, <laughs> out of the water, but if you pardon the pun. So as the storm starts to ravage the island, let's take a look at the species once again. We'll go ahead and name most of them. Um, but we're going to let them migrate for a little bit, try and find their areas and where they want to be on this uh, on this map. Then we'll go ahead and turn on the, uh, the fighting me mechanisms, and then we'll see who is the strongest one from the Camp Cretaceous lot. Uh, it seems like the yeah the combis seem to be okay chilling by the by the lake by the water here. Uh, the Baryonyx trio seem to be having fun. Toro is moving over to the southwest. Um, what else have we got? We've got the no oh no the Nothosauruses have released. And I, yeah, I I I guess they're glitching out. Let's let's just remove that and let's flatten. Yeah, okay. So, that's such a missed opportunity. Honestly. Like, genuinely, I'm quite surprised by that. That's, I wish Frontier would add some. Because they can, they can walk. They can walk on land. So, why not add it so when you release them here, they'll flop, recognize they're on land, and then just walk away. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a missed opportunity. I'm going to see if I can actually muck about with the terrain a little bit. Uh, just to see if I can get them kind of like um, on the land. In, in some way, let's say. You know what? That's going to have to do. <laughs> That's going to have to do. So we'll leave it like that. Unfortunately, it seems like the Nothosauruses aren't going to do much. A great shame. Great missed opportunity there. But yeah, the Stego seem to be chilling. Um, we have, I believe this is Big E.T. I'm not too sure where Rexy is. Rexy must must be close, right? Surely. Oh, no, Rexy's down here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start naming these dinosaurs. Uh, I'll try and name as many as I can, obviously based off what we can see from... Um, from Camp Cretaceous, but the ones that don't really have a name, we'll just avoid, let's say. Okay, I believe I've named every single species. So we've got Blue over here, we've got Tarbosaurus over here, we've got uh, Rexy and Big Eti. I can't get to Rexy, there she is. Uh, we've got Toro over here, uh, Bumpy is over here. Um, we have the Baron's Trio of Limbo. I wish I could find the others, there you go, Grim and Chaos. Uh, I didn't go ahead and name, obviously, the Comsignathus. Um, the Singular species, I've just put their species name, so it's a lot easier to see when they do fight. Um, the mon like, for example, Monolophosaurus is, we already know M-O-N is Monolophosaurus, so we're going to chill with that. We're not going to name a Monolophosaurus 1, 2, 3, 4. But we did do that with the Scorpius Rex, so we can see, um, which is quite cool. And uh, it looks like his territory is like in the shape of Africa a little bit. <laughs> That's quite unique. And again, it seems like these Nophosauruses are probably going to be the first ones to die off, unfortunately. But um, we'll just, we'll, we'll let them be for the time being. Because now it's time to go to Sandbox Settings, to Dinosaurs. And it's time to turn on the dinosaur uh, comfort. Let's, let's put the fussy trait on as well. And the frequency to normal. I wish we could set it to high. It's In, in the first evolution game, you could put it to high. So I don't know why we can't do it in uh, evolution 2. However, time to press apply and watch these dinosaurs fight. Let's see which ones are the first ones to uh, to battle it out. That's, um, that's going to interest me. I, ooh, Monolophosaurus already killing off the Compsignathus. <laughs> Look at the population go. There you go. Ooh, the Gallimimuses are getting hunted down as well by Dilophosaurus. Um, I believe this is going to be a glitched animation. So do forgive me if it is. Let's just see. Maybe. 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 I know the, uh, the Indominus Rex is hunting down a Brachiosaurus. So our Brachiosaurus is probably going to be the first one to go down. Um, Sinoceratops is getting wiped out by the Scorpius Rex, perhaps. We've got. Well, I think it's poisoned, actually, as well. Dilophosaurus, another Gallimimus being hunted down. Uh, Parasaurolophus is getting hunted down by the Scorpius Rex. We've, we've seen that before. We've seen that before, don't you worry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, a few species already um, being taken down. So, the Brachiosaurus is uh, on low health. Monolophosaurus died to the Ceratosaurus. I must have, uh, must have missed that. The Sinoceratops is poisoned. 
Uh, Limbo is in a fight with a Stegosaurus. That's quite brave of him. But yeah, look at that. I thought that one was swinging its tail for a second there. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, Limbo is kind of like biting more than he can chew here. It'll be inter interesting to see, though. We'll come back to that because so much is going on. No, yeah, I, I, I don't think the Baryonyx population is quite smart. Um, just based off what's... They're, they're taking on the wrong creatures. Zoro is fine. He's, he's got the game plan. He's, he's chilling, bro. He's, he's chilling. Um, Monolophosaurus died in a fight with Rexy, quite obviously. The Apatosaurus has been attacked. Another Monolophosaurus has died with Big E.T. So, we we only have one remaining Monolophosaurus species. That's uh, that's that's quite sad. What are this? I, I didn't even press that button. It just decided to take me there anyways. So that one's died off. Uh, Tarbosaurus is in a fight with a Scorpius Rex. This is a fight I wanted to see. There's not much of a fight right now, but it's a fight I wanted to see nonetheless. Oh my. Wow. Wow. It's poison and took 50% damage. 49% technically. That was a big hit. Nah, the Tarbosaurus is actually going to die. I wasn't too sure who to put my bet on. By the way, put your bets on in the comments. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this Tarbosaurus might actually die off this quickly into the game. Wow. I, I was going to put my bets on the Scorpius Rex, but I think the Indominus Rex is probably the safer option to go with here. Um, Gallimimus is being killed off by the Scorpius Rex in the meantime. This Tarbosaurus... Unfortunately, it seems like it is going to die off just because it's been poisoned. So, there's that. Uh, Aranosaurus is, is in battle. And it's dead. I thought I put a Camp Cretaceous variant. I'm sorry. I, put, I thought I put the, the Camp Cretaceous variant. For some reason, I, I must have forgotten that. <laughs> but yeah, so Aranosaurus, I don't think it's been wiped out quite yet. No, okay, so we've got one that's lonely and just chilling over here. Um, Tarbosaurus dying out. The Sinoceratops, I think he might be able to survive it. He might be able to do good there. Uh, Monolophosaurus, are they all wiped out now? Yeah, all the Monolophosauruses are wiped out. So I think that's our first species gone. So um, let's just remove these dead bodies. And now we just kind of like uh, sit and wait. I, I don't know if anybody's going to bother with the Nophosauruses. I think they'll just, they'll just die out because of uh, low food, perhaps. So yeah, I... It's, it's unfortunate. It does seem like they're going to die. But Spinosaurus and Limbo battling it out against one another whilst the, the, their bodies get picked up. Two Spinosaurids. That wasn't much of a battle. I just realised he's died. <laughs> Hopefully we get to add a uh, Sukomimus sometime soon with a Chaos Theory Battle Royale. We'll have to wait and see. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. But it seems like if Grim dies here... Oh no, Chaos is still alive. Okay, Chaos is still alive. Okay, Grim died. <laughs> Chaos is the last remaining Baryonyx. Not a uh, too smart of a species, especially considering you only have 56% health. Who have you been battling? Um, right, so, yeah, Monolophosauruses are wiped out. The Tarbosaurus is now wiped out. It's died due to poison. That's, um, that's actually a big hit. Like, genuinely, I thought the Tarbosaurus was going to be one of those species that will go right until the very end, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, unfortunately, now. Um, the Comsignathus are on low health because they cannot find food. Fair enough. So um, they might just even die off there because there is no food available. Gallimimuses. I want to see this because the Gallimimus has been caught up quite frequently. Okay, so he's probably going to die by the Indominus Rex here. Probably. Yep, there you go. So we only have one Gallimimus remaining. Uh, Parasaurolophus has been hunted down by the Spinosaurus, which means that the Parasaurolophus species is officially wiped from existence. They are also now out. The Sinoceratops is once again battling a Scorpius Rex, clearly not learning its mistake uh, from the first time. And we've got an Apatosaurus being hunted down by Indominus Rex as well. I mean, not quite yet, not quite yet. Big Eating Ceratosaurus, another battle going on. Wiping out the Ceratosaurus species. Okay, let's take a moment to pause, go onto the map, and let's look at the species that we have remaining. In the meantime, it seems as though Comsignathus are the species to be wiped out relatively soon, but it is quite amazing that they did su survive this long. We had six of them, we currently have four, three of them on low health. So, after this we have Toro, who doesn't seem to be in many battles whatsoever. We have Rexy, who, uh, has she been in many battles at all? How do I, how do I check again? It's one of these, right? Um, 
she's been in one battle and she's won that one battle. Uh, Cyanoceratops has died off and we've got another one poisoned on 58% health. So they're going to die out. Nophosaurus is staying strong. <laughs> the Nophosaurus is staying strong. Blue with low health. Interesting. Did, um, yeah, you haven't been in any battles. You're dying because of hunger, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you are. Wow. you got to start hunting some things then, buddy. Uh, the Parasaurolophus species are wiped out. The Ceratosaurus has been wiped out. Gallimimus still going strong with one. Aranosaurus, he's chilling, actually. He's like the only species that's uh, fine with his territory. Nobody's in it. Um, <laughs> the Stegosaurus still going strong. Um, any wins for them? Just the one. Just the one. Not too bad. Dilophosauruses, any for you, my friend? You've got one kill. Um... That's okay, though. That's okay. I'm sure they'll probably get wiped out soon eventually as well. The Brachiosaurus has also died out. I just realized that. So what we're going to go ahead and do for the time being is to uh, get rid of all of the dead bodies. Just so... Wait, do I need to... Come on. Register that you're dead. There you go. Uh, just so we can clean up the space a little bit more and uh, start moving the newer species in closer to one another, if that makes sense. But yeah, it seems like this Battle Royale is going quite good so far. Very quick, but very good. Tarbosaurus wiped out as well. Completely forgot to mention that. The Scorpius Rexes still going strong. They surely must be like... Okay, together they're probably the MVPs. Not too bad. I, I, I don't know. They can... Can they have a population of two? Yeah, they're fine with a population of two. Okay, that's quite surprising considering what we've seen in the show. So, um, yeah, maybe, maybe they, they, they'll be fine as they are. They won't kill each other to the very end. Okay, Rexy and Chaos. We're re resuming our battles. I believe Chaos is dead. Okay, yes, he's dead now. Um, that's the last remaining Spinosaurid. Not Spinosaurid, sorry. Uh, Baryonyx. Yeah, that is the last one. So, Baryonyx are now wiped from existence as well. These Compsignathus, they're, they're doing a good job. Toro, doing a good job. Um, what is dead over here? The Parasaurolophus, which is hunted down by Spinosaurus, and I did not clear out. The Rhinosaurus is still chilling, despite having a Spinosaurus in there. Gallimimus about to be wiped out, I believe. This is going to be quite interesting. He's he's very far away though, very far away. We'll uh, we'll wait we'll wait that one out. Yeah, there you go. So I didn't think he'd actually chase him down for so long. I'm intrigued to see where Blue is. Blue has, okay. So Gallimimus has been hunted down by the Dominus Rex here that I haven't cleared out, but it does mean that Blue is able to replenish her health, and she's sleeping as a Scorpius Rex approaches her. <laughs> see, just nom, eat him there, done. Okay, so the, spino the Sinoceratops has ended off, uh, ended up dying off as well because of the poison. Scorpius Rex is trying another go at the Gallimimus. Again, uh, not too far away this time around, so might actually be successful in its hunt. We'll have to wait and see. Just really, okay, so he, he's not successful. Uh, but Bumpy, still going strong. Have you been in any battles whatsoever? No, you're harmless. Fair play. Fair play to your brother. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the fastest, like, battle reals that we've ever done here on the channel. We've done Dominion, which took us nearly an hour after editing. We did, like, a feathered battle real, took us about 30 minutes after editing. Um, what else did we do? We did... We did other things. Feathered raptors, or raptor battle real. And then we got a, a fight between a Dilophus... Am I reading that right? Oh, I completely forgot that they can pack up. Completely forgot that they can pack up. <laughs> Oh! I've never seen that animation before. How is he not dead? He's still alive? What? Okay, fair play. I'm, I'm actually quite intrigued about this now. Are you gonna... No, you, you've killed... Have you killed both of them? Wow. We have just witnessed the dying off of the Dilophosaurus species. Does that count towards... No, it doesn't. We don't even get to see... Okay, and Bumpy's now in a fight. Yeah, the Dilophosaurus took me by surprise. Really took me by surprise. I, I didn't think that they'd pack hunt, and I didn't think that they'd die off that quickly. But um, I'm intrigued to see about the Scorpius Rex and Bumpy here. This Scorpius Rex has been in quite a fair few amount of battles. Bumpy is now poisoned and on 83% health. Maybe the Tarbosaurus just has terrible defense. Because to, to lose 49% that quickly, oh, not good. Not good at all. Okay, um, Scorpius Rex now on low health as well. So Bumpy is doing a number to him. So um, she's going to stand her ground. I think she should be able to survive. We'll just have to wait and see. The Gallimimus population is going to die off for like the third time that I've said this video. There you go. 
The Spinosaurus has killed off the, the, the last remaining Gallimimus, I believe. I'm gonna... I'm gonna double check this. Yeah, okay, the last one. Okay, so the Apatosaurus has also died off after being fatally wounded by the Indominus Rex. So that's our sauropods completely wiped from this BR. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if Rexy wants to battle the Indominus Rex at all. They seem to be squaring up. I mean, not exactly squaring up. Just, they're chilling. I'll leave, I'll leave them be. How do Nophosaurus is getting on? Wow. These guys are pretty strong. Pretty strong. No, these guys are now fighting Indominus Rex and Rexy. That makes more sense. Um, will we get a fight to the death? I kind of hope so. Like, I don't I don't mind that this video is going quick. It means less, uh, less revenue, but it means that we get an answer very quickly to see who is uh, the strongest Cacetaceous species. How's Big... E Wait, oh, I was about to say, I was I locked onto the, the Dominus Rex. I was going to ask how Big E is getting my games frozen. Okay, there we go. I had a panic attack. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Every time I try... Okay, Big E.T.'s alive. I'm not going to try to swap into Big E.T. Every time I do, something happens to the game. Where is Big E.T.? Is... Is Big E.T.? Wait, what? Where's Big E.T.? She glitched out outside the map. Um... That's weird. That's really weird. So, when I go to Rexy... Okay, hold on. Let me make a save file quick. Okay, so here's what happens. We go to Rexy. And we can cycle to Big E.T. But the game kind of like crashes, you can see, right? But it loads up Big E.T. Wait for it. Okay, maybe it doesn't load up Big E.T. My, my game is playing literally at two frames per second right now. Two frames per second. One frame per second. Okay, let, let's, let's cycle back to Rexy. Yeah, see? I just, it's, what? It's registering that Big E.T. is alive somewhere out there. If I, I can check the population right through here. Okay, Spinosaurus and Bumpy is actually in a fight. I kind of want to see this firstly. Um, what kind of sound was that? That was a terrible sound, but wow, I wasn't expecting Bumpy to die that easily. Oh, bless her. Well, Bumpy is dead. <laughs> Uh, why am I laughing at that? Some people are going to dislike the video now that I've la laughed like that. Okay, let's let's check the um, let's check the the T Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex population too. But I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But do you see a T Rex anywhere besides Rexy? I don't. It's registering that Big E.T.'s alive, but I don't. I'm gonna have to disqualify her if she's managed to escape the map. Fair play, but like that's uh, that's cheating. It really is cheating. It's a shame we can't build over there as well. Okay, so what have we learned so far? We've learned that Toro is a very docile creature. Um, Big E.T. likes to escape. The Comsignathuses are now dying off. Uh, the Aranosaurus, he's chill. He's very chill. Um, the Scorpius Rex like to fight anything. We already kind of knew that. They're about to take on a Stegosaurus again. Uh, Nophosauruses are officially on low health. <laughs> They're officially on low health. You know what? The Nophosauruses might actually end up winning this somehow. I, I, I don't know how, but they might actually end up winning it. Um, Indominus Rex and Toro, just as I was saying how docile Toro is, he's now in a fight uh, with the Indominus Rex. So his first combatitor, he's decided to to take on the Indom Indominus Rex. I, I don't understand these, these creatures' thought processes, man. Like, why take on the Indominus Rex for your first creature? <laughs> um, the Spinosaurus is actually doing quite good. Um, the Tarbosaurus was quite a shock. Toro seems to be holding his ground here, but like, he doesn't really do that much damage. Yeah, there you go. So he, he, he's now run away. Um, but yeah, the Spinosaurus is not too bad. Um, about to take on a Scorpius Rex, so this might be his hardest challenge yet. With a level 3 Infamy. Um, what, uh, what is the Scorpius Rex? Okay, they're not going to take each other on. Only level 1. See, you're almost on level 4, so you're practically... Like, wow, 1.25 mil. Yeah, yeah. So you're practically the um, the MP MVP so far. What else have we got dead over there? We've got a Stegosaurus that's died from poison. Um, Blue doesn't really seem to be doing much whatsoever. Um, these guys are now going to decide that they are going to fight. Okay. First, uh, first hit goes to the Spinosaurus. 
The second hit, most likely Scorpius Rex, considering how rigged it is. There you go, and now the Spinosaurus is poisoned. Um, but I don't think that's done enough initial damage to the Spinosaurus for the poison to eventually kill it off either. So, whilst it will lose health, it shouldn't kill it off. Okay, now it might. <laughs> now it might. What's, um, okay, five minutes of poison. No, the Scorpius Rex is very low. You had your chance there. Hunt it down. Go for it. Okay, so we've gone ahead and made the uh, the place just a little bit smaller. Uh, not too much smaller, just so that they can uh, keep fighting. We're going to cut off this, don't you worry. Uh, I'm just intrigued to see if anybody goes to the uh, to the Nophosauruses when they do eventually die out. Bless them. What a poor, poor, sad life that they had. I just don't get it. Like, perfect opportunity to allow this glitch to make them recognize their own land and just to, to walk around. Because they're not really aquatic species, are they? Like, sure, they should be living in water. But like, uh, I, I don't know. It's probably some video game thing that I, I, I don't know. I've never made a video game before, so um, credit to them for even bringing in Ophosaurus in the first place. I just wish I just wish it would walk on land. Uh, Rexy and Toro battling out. Toro seems to be dead. And there goes our Carnotaurus species of this battle royale. Let's remove the dead body. <laughs> um... There's not really too much going on, to be honest. We've got a few herbivores. The Iranosaurus is quite a surprise. Stegosaurus holding its ground. The Velociraptor, blue, not really doing anything. Um, these are the main four, let's say, that um, are going to be taking each other on. Um, now, Stegosaurus, I did say, was holding his ground. Although, he could still hold his ground. 58% Scorpius Rex versus 100% Stegosaurus. Poisoned, nonetheless. But that's a 27% Scorpius Rex now. So if he's not careful, which he wasn't, <laughs> Scorpius Rex number two has died off. And the uh, wow, the Stegosaurus has really held its ground. Fair play. You know, fair play to it. Uh, five minutes of poison, though. We'll bring it down to at least probably 60% health. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, the Scorpius Rex, again. I've never actually seen that animation. I've never seen an animation before. That was really cool. But yeah, the Scorpius Rex has now been wiped out within seconds. That That's actually crazy to me. I'll be deadly honest. I'm, that's taken me by surprise. Scorpius Rex now done and dusted. The Iranosaurus outlived the Scorpius Rex. He hasn't even done shit, has he? No, he's chilling. He's fine. Okay, so the last remaining species that I think will be top three, depending on how that Spinosaurus gets on, because the poison is lowering his health quite quickly, actually. Because he was on, what, 75%? Now he's on 46. Um, he's still got over a minute to jaw. We also have a Stegosaurus um, losing health as well. But I don't, I don't think it should be too bad. Um, the health seems to be okay for three and a half minutes to go. But obviously my money was on Indominus Rex. Uh, I think Rexy will come third, depending on if these guys fight or not. And then, hopefully, the Spinosaurus can replenish his health. And uh, be able to be number three. These guys are chasing each other. Don't scare me like that. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's over. It's over. It's over. Our surprise competitor, the underdog, the Iranosaurus, has died out. I mean, fair play for lasting this long. Fair bloody play. Uh, we got 13% on the Nophosauruses now. Um... I'm sorry, guys. I thought you guys would, you know, at least be able to walk around, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm intrigued to see if anybody or any other dinosaur will actually walk over here and eat their dead bodies, because they will flop on the floor um, and be edible, I believe. So we have to wait and see for that. But as for the time being, uh, again, it seems like we, we have one herbivore left. That's a poison stegosaurus. It doesn't show its... Like, it shows this, but it doesn't show the uh, the two Dilophosauruses it's killed off. So, slightly unfortunate. However, it is our last remaining herbivore. Meaning that we have Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Indominus Rex, Spinosaurus, and Nophosaurus as the last remaining carnivores. But the Nophosaurus, they're going to die off any minute now. Spinosaurus, on low health. However, no longer poisoned. Um, Velociraptor, losing health. Must be hungry. Is hungry. Rexy, fine. Indominus Rex, fine. So yeah, it's probably going to be between those two 
super mighty predators. Um, now we do have Nophosaurus is dying off here. We have one that's died off. You're about to die off. I'm intrigued to see uh, the, the flopping animation, especially considering he's clipping into the ground. But yeah, so you can see that the dead body kind of just like lays there casually. Which, you know, if it interacts with the land, why not walk on the land? <laughs> uh, I must be getting annoying, but um, hopefully Frontier can maybe maybe allow that to happen. Or maybe, like, the, the, the way that we're able to, like, release these creatures anyways via a glitch and they haven't patched it because they know how much the fans love it, maybe they can do something like that. Allow it to be a glitch where enough sources recognize this as land and that they can walk on it. Or maybe it's just rigged animations. But this guy's going to go any second now. There he goes. Just flops. It does make me sad, but it does. It looks cool at the same time. It looks like they're kind of like basking, just chilling there, you know. <laughs> okay, um, right. So they're gone. Uh, the Nophosauruses are actually sixth place. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Um, so let's just make this a little bit smaller now, and we can make it even smaller. To be honest, we'll go ahead and do exactly that. And this is the part of the battle reals where I kind of just chill i lay here i don't really do too much um three dead dinosaurs I I'm, I'm guessing one of them is big et somewhere out there um the spinosaurus however no the spinosaurus is dead he's gone to sleep and he's gonna die off now so the spinosaurus is wiped out he's stegosaurus man if anybody put money on the stegosaurus fair play to you like they, they actually hold themselves out quite well so it's not terrible um yeah, the Spinosaurus. Flops. Dead. Just like that. And that's a Super Predator gone. So it is practically between Rexy and the Indominus Rex right now. Very interesting. But this is the part of the Battle Royales where they slightly start to get a little bit boring. Because not much happens for 10 or 15 minutes or so. So I kind of just sit here watching icons move around my screen for a bit. That's practically it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do now. We're into our top four. Spinosaurus came fifth. And uh, we just have to wait and see now. Okay, so I think Big E.T. kind of like glitched through the map. Because when I click here, this is showing where Big E.T. is. Um, but a fight has begun between the Stegosaurus and Rexy. So we have to see who's going to win. The what are you doing? Stop making out. Fight. There you go. That's what I want to see. I mean, it is crazy to me, like, the sheer size of a Stegosaurus. Like, when I was younger, great. But yeah, this is what I mean. I sit here, nothing happens for so long. But when I was younger, I, I didn't even think how big Triceratops and Stegosaurus was in comparison to a Rex. So, okay, it's glitching out. I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry, okay? Don't go to Big E.T. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been sat here for a while, and um, as an update, Rexy is on low health. Blue is on low health. Rexy seems to be going to fight the Stegosaurus once again. Um, however... These guys seem to be in coalitions. So actually, I'm going to pause it whilst they're there so I can make the enclosure even smaller. Um, but yeah, I've, I've noticed that the Indominus Rex and uh, the Velociraptor, they're, they're, they're chilling. And obviously, you know, I, I know for a fact that they can communicate. However, they're not fighting. So I don't know what's going to happen. We might have a draw here for the first ever time in Battle Royale history. We just have to wait and see. But these guys seem to be fighting because Rexy needs some food, man. She does. Look, her food is deplenishing. Her health is on 39. The Stegosaurus, I mean, he's chilling. Oh. I've never seen that animation before. That was cool. <laughs> that was actually really cool. Okay, so Rexy comes in fourth place. And we still have a herbivore surviving. That's crazy. I think what I'm going to do now is uh, actually... See, some people are going to say it's unethical, it's not the right thing to do in a battle real to make it fair. But we're going to get rid of all of the foliage so that the Stegosaurus can't replenish his health no longer. Um, but then in a way that's kind of like forcing carnivores to win, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know. So, some people are going to be upset about that, some people aren't. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, stand in his ground though. Stand in his ground against the Indominus Rex. We just we have to wait and see. But yeah, again, as I said, you click on that and uh, it's it's just showing a glitched area of where Big E.T., I assume, has died. Um, let's move Rexy out of the way. Out of the park. Let that go down to one. Yeah, there you go. Actually, I don't even know if it's showing where uh, where Big E.T. died. Like, I can go anywhere and it will just show, like, here. So, I assume it's under the map somehow. I don't know. It's kind of unfair, but she died off, I guess. 
Talking of unfair, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Like, Blue's just chilling. The Indominus Rex ain't gonna hurt her. They're not gonna hurt each other. The Stegosaurus, I mean, you're our last hope, and I don't think that Blue can actually attack you because of pack hunting. So, or unless she's pack, pack hunting. So for now, we just have to wait and see who's gonna actually take the most damage here. I mean, the Stegosaurus already winning this. We've got our top three selected. Still winning. Taking a hit from the Indominus is still winning. Okay. Ooh, that was a 50-50 shot there. So, wow. Wow. What did they put in this Stego? This this guy's insane. He's actually the MVP. <laughs> he is the MVP. But again, as I was saying, I, I don't think that... Um, I don't think we're going to get a solid, solidified winner here unless Blue dies off first. I mean, they're, they're going back to battling. But it doesn't seem as though Blue can attack the Stegosaurus without pack mates. It doesn't seem as though these two can fight, Blue and the Indominus Rex. So, in the first time on this channel in Battle Royale history, it seems as though we're going to have a draw. I mean, I will sit here for a few minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and see what happens. Maybe one will die off first from hunger than the other um, to try and get a winner. But again, I don't know. My money was in Dominus Rex. I just don't know anymore. All right, so the battle resumes between these two. And it ends just like that. The Indominus Rex takes third place. We have a Stegosaurus in second place. And Blue will probably end up being a winner here. Just because of the uh, replenishing health. But we'll wait and see what happens. But yeah. The, uh, the Indominus Rex has been taken down. And has come third. Third of all things. Come on, get rid of it. Don't let Blue eat it. Okay, and now all my job here really is to do is just sit and wait until one of them dies off in a very anticlimactic way. So, let's just wait and see to see who uh, who's the true winner of this Camp Cretaceous Battle Royale. I did not... I wouldn't put my money on Stegosaurus being this high up, I'll be honest with you. Okay, so I've sat here for a while. As an update, we've got Blue on low health. Um, and the Stegosaurus? He's chilling. 82% health. So, for the first time in BR history, we're going to have a herbivore winner as well, by the looks of it. I'll sit here and wait for the inevitable for you guys, but... <laughs> the Stegosaurus! He's going to win. He is. Okay, so right now we're witnessing the final few seconds of Blue's life. She's on 1% health. Now on 0%. And she's going to flop any second now. Here we go. Here we go. Final roar. And dead. Which officially means... I can't believe I'm saying this. But it officially means we have a winner in the Stegosaurus as today's Battle Royale champion. Honestly... I wouldn't even put Stegosaurus into the top 5. I would maybe put it top 10, same with Sinoceratops. But to win the entire Battle Royale? Nah, not a chance. That's actually taken me by surprise, like a big, big surprise. We have our first herbivore winner of a Battle Royale. Never expected that. If you guys got that in the comments, fair play to you guys. I mean, you clearly know more about this game than I do. Um, but yeah, the Stegosaurus... It's today's winner. We haven't even named this Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus 002. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you got the outcome correct, feel free to press that like button. Let me know who you had your money on in the comments below. Um, I, I'll be impressed if you had it on Stegosaurus. I'll be deadly honest with you. But for the meantime, and today's Battle Royale, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.